Welcome sa course natin kung saan magsasolve naman tayo para dun sa topics natin sa sequence of progression. So, sample problems part 1. So, find the 19th term of the arithmetic progression, 4, 15, 26, and so on. So, yung concern tayo, n is equal to 19. Yung given, a sub 1, which is equal to 4. a sub 2, which is equal to 15. Tapos yung a sub 3, which is equal to 26. So, may kita natin yung common difference. So, 15 minus 4, 26 minus 15, so equal sa 11. So, yung formula ang pwedeng gamitin, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, substitute natin sa equation. So, 4 plus 19 minus 1 times 11. So, a sub 19 is equal to 202. Next question, uh, find the sum. Of the first 11 terms of the arithmetic progression, negative 22, negative 14, tsaka negative 6, and so on. So, hanapin natin yung sum of the first 11 terms. So, S sub 11, n is equal to 11, given. Tapos, negative 14 minus 22, difference is 8. Ganun din dun sa third term at second term, negative 6 minus 14. So, equal din sa 8. So, sum, uh, equation. So, ng arithmetic series, so n over 2, dahil given tayo ng n which is 11, ng a sub 1 which is negative 22, yung d na compute natin kanina which is 8. So, therefore, s sub 11 is equal to 11 over 2 times 2 times negative 22 plus 11 minus 1 times 8, which is equal to 198. Next question. Find the sum of the first 30 terms of the arithmetic progression, 5 and 3 fourths, 36 and 7 twelfths, tsaka yung 67 and 5 twelfths, and so on. So, hanapin natin yung S sub 30 or sum of the first 30 terms, n is equal to 30. Yung given. So, check natin kung arithmetic progression nga, akunin natin yung common difference kung meron. So, yung first, so 36 and 7 twelfths, uh, minus... 5 and 3 fourths. So, 185 over 6. So, check natin yung isa pa. So, 67 and 5 twelfths. Minus 36 and 7 twelfths. So, may common difference sila na 185 over 6. So, yung arithmetic series. So, n over 2. Uh, times 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, substitute natin sa equation. So, 30 over 2 times 2 times 5 and 3 fourths plus 30 minus 1 times 185 over 6. So, therefore, yung sagot natin, s sub 30 or sum of the first 30 terms ay 13,585. Next, the first term of an arithmetic progression is 7 and the 17th term is 89. Find the 50th term. So, yung given, a sub 1 is equal to 7, a sub 17 is equal to 89. So, 50th term. So, yung formula pwede natin gamitin. Substitute na sa equation, kaya lang wala pala tayong common difference. So, gamitin natin yung nasa given. Makakumpit natin yung common difference dyan. So, a sub 17 equals sa a sub 1 plus 17 minus 1 times d. So, substitute natin sa equation. So, subtract both sides. So, 89 minus 7. Then, divide natin sa 16. So, 41 over 8. Yung common difference. So, therefore, so 7 plus 50 minus 1 times 41 over 8. Which is equal to 2065 over 8 or... Uh, 258.125 Next question There are 8 arithmetic means between 5 and 64 Find the 6th term So dahil 8 yung arithmetic means between 5 and 64 So first term natin is 5 Tapos 10th term na yung 64 Dahil may 8 sa pagitan nila So yung 6th term A sub 6 Pwede natin gamitin yung formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a sub 6 is equal to 5 plus 6 minus 1 times d. Wala ba tayong common difference d? So pwede natin uh, gamitin ulit kagaya ng pag-compute natin kanina. So a sub 10 is equal to a sub 1 plus 10 minus 1 times uh, d. 
So, substitute natin. So, 64 minus 5 ulit over 10 minus 1. So, therefore, common difference ay uh, 59 over 9. Uh, substitute natin. So, 5 plus 6 minus 1 times 59 over 9. So, 340 over 9 or 37.7. Yung 7, uh, sasabihan na repeating yung decimal na 7. So, 37.7777. 7, 7, 7, 7. So, how many numbers between 20 and 1056 are exactly divisible by 14? So, yung first term natin, so hindi pwedeng 20 kasi hindi siya divisible by 14. Tapos yung last term, uh, 1050. Kasi yung 1056, hindi rin siya divisible by 14. So, pwede nating makuha dun sa 1056, divide natin sa 14, magkakaroon ka ng remainder na 6. Ibig sabihin, subtract natin ng 6. So, yun yung divisible sa 14, which is 1050. So, common difference is 14. So, pwedeng gamitin natin equation. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times b. So, 1050 minus 28 over 14 plus 1. So, n is equal to 74. So, yun yun. So, between 20 and 1056. So, 74 are divisible by 14. So, next question. Find the sum of the numbers between 361 and 589 that are divisible by 19. So, dahil between, so second hanggang and minus 1. So, para sa divisible yan by 19 yung 361, pati yung 589. So, pwede natin gawing computation kung uh, gamitin natin yung a sub 1 as 361, tapos yung a sub n is equal to 589. Common difference nila ay 19. So, formula natin pwedeng gamitin kung sa second hanggang n minus 1, so n over 2. A times a sub 1 plus a sub n dahil yun yung given. So yung gagamitin natin form ng equation. Minus, subtract na lang natin yung first pati yung last term para makuha natin yung sum ng numbers between yung first tsaka nung last term. So, substitute natin sa equation. So hindi natin alam kung gano'ng karami yung n. So therefore, gamitin ulit natin yung nasa given. So 589 minus... 361 over 19 plus a 1. So therefore, n is equal to 13. Tapos, so 13 over 2 times 361 plus 589 plus a minus 361 plus 589. So therefore, uh, sum natin from the second term hanggang n minus 1 is equal to 5 to 2, 5 or yung sum ng numbers between 361 and 589 that are divisible by 19. Next question, the sum of three numbers in an arithmetic progression is 66. The sum of their squares is 1,790. Find the third number. So, gawin natin into equation yung uh, question. So, yung sum down ng three numbers, so A1, A2, and A3, are, so arithmetic progression, which is equal to 66. So, arithmetic progression, kaya yung A2 tsaka minus A1 equal dun sa A3 minus A2 or yung common difference. Tapos, yung sum ng squares nila, so A1, A2, and A3, and then square, is equal to 1,790. So, hanapin natin kung ano yung third term. So, pwede natin gawin, pag-addin natin yung first pati yung second. Yung second, i-arrange lang natin. Makukuha natin doon a sub 1 minus 2a sub 2 plus a sub 3. So, subtract natin yung first pati yung second equation. So, 3a sub 2 is equal to 66. So, therefore, a sub 2 is equal to 22. Uh, substitute natin dito. So, a sub 1 plus 22 plus a sub 3 is equal to 66. So, therefore, a sub 1 is equal to 44 minus a sub 3. Uh, so, yun yung relationship natin dun sa a1 pati yung a3. Uh, pwede yung substitute natin dun sa third equation. Yung a sub 1, 44 minus a sub 3. Tapos yung a sub 2, 22. So, ginawa ko pala kanina na in ko na a sub 1 para makuha kagad natin kapag uh, sinubstitute natin dun sa third equation, a sub 3 kagad. Kaya a sub 1 is equal to 43, uh, 44 minus a sub 3. So, arrange lang natin. So, solve muna natin. So, 44 squared uh, minus 2 times 44 a cubed plus 
a sub 3 or and then plus a sub 3 uh, squared plus 22 squared plus a sub 3 squared is equal to 1790. So arrange natin. So 2 times a sub 3 squared minus 88 times a sub 3 minus 1790 plus 44 squared plus 22 squared is equal to 0. Pwedeng kumpiti natin gamit yung quadratic formula, yung negative b, positive negative square root ng b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, store natin itong values. So, 2 store sa a. Yung negative 88 store sa b. Tapos, negative 1790 plus 44 squared plus 22 squared, yun yung store natin sa c. So, therefore, so negative b. Yung positive muna. So, square root ng b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, 35 yung una. Mahalo, ah. So, negative b. So, negative naman. So, therefore, a sub 3 or yung third term, pwedeng 35 or 9. So, dalawa yung sagot natin para kapag multiple choice yung tanong. So, yung pipiliin niya, syempre, yung nasa uh, choices. Next question. The arithmetic mean of 6 numbers is 17. If numbers are added to the progression, the new arithmetic mean is 21. What are the two numbers if their difference is 4? So yung arithmetic mean, uh, pwedeng consider natin or pwede rin siyang tawagin na average. So yung mga notation niya, pwedeng S sub N over N. So yung sum over number of terms, so yung average. Or pwede rin na AM or pwede rin na X bar. So... S sub 6, so dahil 6 numbers, so yung sum nila, arithmetic mean, so divide natin sa number of terms 6, which is equal to 17. In next pa, let x and y be the numbers added to the progression. So pag nag-add tayo ng dalawang numbers, so yung, ang mangyayari, magkakaroon ka na ng dalawang term na additional. So over 8 na, so 8 terms, so S sub 6 plus x plus y, yun yung dinanote natin as yung numbers na inad sa progression over 8, equal na sa 21. Yun yung bagong arithmetic mean. Required yung two numbers if their difference is 4. So, y minus x is equal to 4. So, mas malaking number yung y. So, yun yung nilagay natin. So, balikan natin to. Pwedeng yung s sub 6 is equal to 102. 6 times uh, 17. Multiply both sides sa 6. Substitute natin dun sa isang equation yung s sub 6 plus x plus y over 8. So therefore, 102 plus x plus y over 8 is equal to 21. Tapos 102 plus x plus y is equal to 168. So multiply both sides by 8. So 21 times 8. This is 168. So therefore, x plus y is equal to 66. And then y plus x, so arrange lang natin, equal to 66, tapos yung y minus x equal to 4. So pag adin lang natin, so 2y is equal to 70, to so 66 plus 4. And then y is equal to 35. So y minus x is equal to 4, so 35 minus x equal to 4, so therefore x is equal to 31. So yung sagot natin, yung dalawang numbers, uh, 35 and 31. So, find the end term of the arithmetic progression, 6, 10, and 14. So, yun yung given natin. Common difference, so 10 minus 6, so 4, 14 minus 10, 4, then. So, formula pwedeng gamitin. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, substitute natin dun sa equation. So therefore, yung formula ang pwedeng gamitin para makuha yung kahit anong term. So n term, so a sub n is equal to 2 plus 4 times n. Next, in a pile of logs, each layer contains one more log than the layer above and the top contains just one log. If there are 106 logs in a pile, how many layers are there? So yung common difference natin na 1 dahil yung as you progress dun sa pile of logs, nadadagdagan ng 1. Nakalagay nga dito, each layer contains one more log than the layer above. And then yung first term natin, 1, dahil yun yung top. Consider natin na yun yung first term. 
And then yung summation, if there are 105 logs in a pile, so S sub n is equal to 105, how many layers? So yun yung n. So pwede natin gamitin yung formula na S sub n is equal to n over 2, 2 times A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. So substitute natin sa equation. So 2 times 105. And then, ang makukuha natin, 210 is equal to n plus n squared. So, arrange lang natin. So, negative b, positive, negative, square root ng b squared minus 4ac. So, yung sagot natin dyan. So, restore na natin. So, negative b, positive, negative. So, yung plus muna. So, b squared minus 4ac over 2a so 14 tapos yung isa negative so negative 15 ayun may sagot na pala so kaya lang positive yung isa yung isa negative so yung pipiliin natin yung positive dahil yun yung number of lugs so hindi pwedeng negative number of lugs so n is equal to 14